Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here, and we're back with week three updates for the April shred. So if you missed the other videos, I'll link all the shred videos for you down below. But essentially I started an April shred, which I paid like $110 for through a like nutrition coach. Her name is Emma Montgomery. She's macros with M on Instagram. And it is not like one-on-one -on -one coaching. You just pay for her to do your macros and you get a workout routine in an app, um, which is the same workouts for four weeks, but you're supposed to increase your, you know, progressive overload. So you want to increase your reps or your weight every single week. Um, so I've been doing that. I like it. I really do. A lot of people are asking about my honest opinions. I do like it. I don't know that I would suggest everybody to do it. So I work with a registered dietitian and I'll talk about this in a minute, but we've already addressed, adjusted the macros um, and like the calorie limits that she assigned me just because my registered dietitian obviously knows me, my history, my body, everything um, more than one can describe in like the little survey that you fill out for Emma to do your macros. Um, so we did adjust those. I do like the workouts. I think the app could be a little better. It's like, it's hard to explain. Um, I just feel like it could be a little more user friendly. It's kind of hard to navigate and like find what you need. She does a discussion every, like a discussion board every Wednesday within the app. So you can have, we call it office hours. You can go in and ask her questions. There's also a Facebook group, but the Facebook group is free. Anyone can join it. Um, I like it. I like the workouts. I'm happy that I'll have those, but I don't know that I would say you absolutely need this. This has been a game changer type of thing, but it has been really fun. Um, and I do love her. She's a great follow. So definitely give her a follow on Instagram. She's macros with M. So I love her, but we're starting a new week. What a great, what a great thing. There's something about Mondays that really just chef's kiss. You know what I mean? Like they kind of suck, but they're also kind of great. Do you feel that? So anyways, I am, I just got my allergy shot and we are going to do a grocery haul and I'm just going to share my dinners with you for the week. I'm uh, going to my mom's later in the week. So you'll probably see that as well. Like me cooking in her kitchen. Um, but just dinners instead of the full what eat in a week, which I love to film those, but they're like a lot. It, my computer like almost crashes every time cause there's so much footage. So I thought I'll just do grocery haul and share the dinners of this week with you. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, quickly, I will say as far as the April shred. So I started working out and lifting consistently in February, um, three times a week. And I was pretty much consistently gaining weight on the scale about six pounds. And it was you know, making me a little bit nervous. I'm hoping that it's, you know, water retention so that my muscles can be building. I have noticed definition in my arms. So I know that my body's going through changes, but I still do have fat to lose. And so the ultimate goal right now is fat loss. So with that, I've talked with my dietitian and we decided to lower my calories from 1650 for five days and then like 1800 for two days to now 1500 for five days and 1650 for two days. So those two days would be like Friday and Saturday, whatever day me and working on a date or whatever, just so I have a little more wiggle room on those days. Um, but overall my weekly calorie, my weekly calories are lower and I'm excited to see what happens with that. I will say I can definitely tell I'm hungrier. Um, those 150 calories were like an extra snack, a larger serving of dinner. So still adjusting to that. And hopefully next week's video, um, I'll have more of a grasp <laughs> on that and it'll be a little bit better. I need to eat higher volume and lower calories so that I can eat more throughout the day to feel full. But truly part of dieting, you're just going to feel a little bit hungry sometimes. Um, my favorite thing is carbonated water. <laughs> it just keeps me feeling full and more satisfied throughout the day so that I can really hit those numbers in this phase. And I will also mention that I think throughout May, I'm going to track calories. But after that, I think I'm going to have to do another reverse. I just feel like my body is ready for it. Um, maybe push harder in the gym, focus just on getting more veggies. I'm seeing myself fall back into some habits that I don't love. Um, so I just want to be in fat loss phase before our June vacation. And then after that, I think I will jump into a reverse diet. So we'll go over all that. You'll see it here on my channel, but let's go ahead and jump into the grocery haul. Before we jump into it, 
my Fab Fit Fun box is here and I wanted to share with you. This is like a serious dream brand for me. I feel like when you start getting brand deals on YouTube, you start thinking like, oh, I, you know, I would love to work with this brand or, oh, this would be like a dream bucket list brand for me. And FabFitFun has always been that brand for me. I used them throughout college and loved them. Um, you know, eventually I started working and paying for my own things and I was making like $11 an hour and FabFitFun was not in my budget at the time. But now truly I'm like, how is it not in my budget? It is something that I will budget for every single month. It is amazing. It's about $50 and it's a seasonal subscription box. So you only get one per season so there's a spring a summer a fall and a winter box and everything is sort of catered to that season and it's really cool so it's lifestyle it's beauty it's fitness it's like everything everything that we love yeah. it's, but I thought this time I would do an unboxing so you can see like my reaction to everything um, and I already am excited about this. I have a nail appointment coming up and my um, nail artist, Caitlin, has been telling me, you need to get cuticle oil. It's so important. I don't have any. And look what your girl has, a great cuticle oil. I am so excited. So like I said, these boxes are like $50 per season, but the amount, like the cost of everything inside is far over $50. So you might get $200 worth of items and you only spent $50. You're getting luxury brands. You're getting great items. Very, you'll also get a lot of familiar brands. It's amazing. So this is Tula. I know a lot of y'all have heard of this skincare. I hear it talked about all the time, but I've never used it. And this is their Protect and Glow um, sunscreen. It's a daily sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every single day. And if you don't, you need to start. I really should probably put it on my body because I live in Texas, but I wear it on my face religiously. It is the first thing I put on even on days where I stay home. It's just my morning moisturizer, which has SPF. Skin care is so important. Make sure you're wearing SPF on your face every single day. Um, and I'm really excited to try this one out. So this is 30 SPF and it's protecting glow. So I feel like this is going to be like glowy. Ooh, okay, pumped about that. Can't wait to wear it tomorrow. Then we have, ooh, a body scrubber. These, okay, look how cute this is. I love it. Instead of a loofah, I feel like this is way um, more sanitary than a loofah. And I have to admit, I'm a loofah girl. Like, I know people say that they have bacteria, but like, I just love them. I can't not. So I'm really excited to try this one. Ooh. Okay, I always call this Anastasia, but I'm pretty sure it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, a matte lipstick. Y'all, I just started wearing lip products. Can you tell that I'm wearing lipstick for like the first time in forever? It's actually lip gloss from Sephora. <gasps> okay, can I just say like, this is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I love it. And it's a very like neutral tone. Oh yeah, and it has a little bit of like a rosy, mm-hmm. I can't wait to wear that. I'm pumped. I'm recently getting into lip stuff, so this was actually perfect timing. Okay, what is this? The fun part is that you don't even know. I mean, you can, I think there's a subscription where you can pick the items that you want, but honestly, the surprise to me is the best part because it's just like a fun gift from them to you. Well, really from you to you. <laughs> every single season and I feel like for $50 like treat yourself every season girl like we deserve a little self-care a little treat yourself moment and I feel like this is a really easy one because you kind of just set up the subscription and forget about it and then it surprises you every season okay this is so cute little storage canisters how cute is that gonna be in our bathroom like I'm sorry are you kidding this is so chic I'm not gonna open the other one yet but I love this golden black, like cotton balls. You could put hair ties in here, put it on your dresser. I'm obsessed with that already. Okay, we have another product. Gel Sculpt Contouring Gel. Is this a bronzer, like a contour? <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, yes. I've been wanting to try like a cream bronzer look at that okay this looks like it's going to be cool tone which is perfect oh mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Can you see that? Okay, I can't hold my hand right. This, it looks amazing. I'm really excited to try this. I still use like a powder bronzer and then I have like an orangey blush on next to it, but I've been wanting to try these cream bronzers and contours. So that is gonna be a fun product. See, it's like things I wanna try, but I just like haven't bought it, haven't gone out of my way to buy it. And now I have it, it's amazing. Okay, this is so cute. I've been waiting for this one to do it last. This is a little bag. Like the perfect summer bag. Are you kidding me? Ah, I'm obsessed. This is such a cool one too. It has tons. I just love this shape. It's very structured. And then it has the little clasp. You just poke it through. Yeah. Okay. So you just poke it through and it's a little shoulder bag. Like this is amazing. I'm gonna take this on vacation. And honestly, I might just switch to this as like my spring summer bag. Cause like how cute is this mauve? I'm obsessed with this. I would never like pick this up at the store. Like I would just never think like, oh yeah, I need a mauve bag. But am I happy that I have one now? Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Look how freaking cute this is. And it looks cute with my black. Okay, I might have to switch over my bag to this. So let me get to that. But let's jump in to the grocery haul. I will link all of the details for FabFitFun down below. You can get some money off, save yourself some. So use my link and my code to save yourself some money. Try it out. I really think your first season, you're going to be hooked. For $50, you're getting hundreds of dollars worth of items. And it's like fun luxury items, really great quality stuff. I have like a spoon rest that I'm obsessed with that I got in my last box a moisturizer that I'm currently using by an amazing brand that I would never, like I'm a drugstore girl, but now I have this luxury moisturizer. It makes you feel very bougie. So I'll link the details for you down below. Let's go ahead and jump into the grocery haul. All right, y'all, quick grocery haul for the week. It's a small one, but will you believe that this pretty much cost us $100? Like, ew, not here for it. Anyways, got some of these waters. This was actually the other day, um, but do have those for the week. I got a chopped salad kit, um, which we're gonna have with some thin sliced chicken, marinara. I'm gonna do like a baked chicken parm situation with salad. I got a couple cucumbers for this TikTok recipe that I saw that I wanna make. These are for Morgan's lunches. We love these so, so much. 300 calories and 16 grams of protein. Great little lunch or snack on the go. I picked up some Fiesta blend cheese. I'm gonna make a like enchilada casserole this week. So y'all will see that with some ground turkey. We already have the enchilada sauce, black beans, um, rice, and corn tortillas. Also got some of these. Oh, we just love these. They're like Nutri-Grain bars. They're 130 calories. They're just easy. I like to have those on hand. Some bananas, some staples here, hot sauce and ketchup, milk and cereal from Morgan. He, re You really like this one, right? The fruit and yogurt? Oh, yeah. yeah, this one's really good. So I picked up that one this week. Also, all of this is from Walmart, but I did go to HEB for some sushi today and I picked him up these. We've tried the grape ones and I think I remember wishing that it was strawberry. And then we started talking about what's the better jelly on a PB&J, grape or strawberry or a different jelly. But I feel like- There's only one kind. Grape? Yeah. Morgan votes grape. Truly, I grew up on grape and I love it, but I'm kind of a strawberry girl now, not gonna lie. So let us know what yours, what your go-to jelly is for PB&J down below. Um, we also just got some, you know, whatever you call that. And then we're making shepherd's pie tonight. So this is gonna be dinner tonight. I'm making a double batch though, cause it's also gonna be my lunch prep. Per serving, this is like 390 calories, it's crazy. So I have a can of tomato sauce two packs of the beef stew. I'm gonna start with one just so it's not like overly seasoned, but usually I use one per one pound of beef and one pack of mixed vegetables. But two of those, two packs, these are the 12 ounces, yeah, frozen. Two packs of the mashed potatoes. I like these, one, because they're easy and they taste good, but two, um, because they're very easy to track. So, love that. Already have the meat going right now for the shepherd's pie. So I'm gonna drain this off and go ahead and get the water going for my mashed potatoes. And then we'll get everything else mixed up. This is really easy. I actually have this recipe on my blog. So I'll link it for you down below. All right, so the beef is cooked. I already drained it. And then I poured in one of the vegetables. All right, beef is cooked up, poured in one of the vegetables, pouring in number two right now. Woo. 
gonna season those up. Well, actually, I might just leave them. Go ahead and put in the beef stew and the tomato sauce. And we'll just mix it up and taste, see how it's going. All right, so I used about a packet and a half of the beef stew and then just let it simmer all together until the vegetables were tender. And now I'm about to dump this in our big old pan right here. And we've got both packages of the mashed potatoes that Morgan mixed up. And this meal comes together really quickly, probably like what, 20 minutes? Yeah. And then in the oven for like 10, so easy. All right, y'all, the shepherd's pie just came out. It's looking amazing. So again, this is gonna be, this is really eight servings. And as you can see, this is a really huge pan. Um, so I'll just kind of cut it in half first and we'll eat off the dinner portion. And then I'll cut the second half into, you know, fourths or whatever. But we're about to serve up dinner and I'm starving. All right, y'all, here is my finished plate. I've got some of the chopped Caesar salad. I didn't really have another dinner to put that with, so I thought this would be a good one, and I do have the calories for it. Um, one serving of the shepherd's pie, so pumped. I went ahead and did a serving for myself, and then I dug out a serving and a half about for Morgan, and then this will be divided into four um, for my lunch prep, and as you can see, this is like, I mean, they're not small servings, and this is a very deep dish. So, I mean, you get a lot. It's like a big amount. So, I'm pretty pumped about it. We're about to have dinner, and I'll see y'all at tomorrow's dinner. All right, y'all. Tonight, I'm going to do like an enchilada bake thing. I already opened this ground turkey, but we're using this, which is actually more than a pound. It said the net weight was like 19, yeah, about 19 ounces. So, we've got that. Going to season it with... Taco Bell taco seasoning. Honestly, the best taco seasoning. You can't tell me otherwise. This is for, <laughs> this is for a fun recipe. Stay tuned. That will be in a video. Um, maybe, no, probably not this video. Um, enchilada sauce. So I'm going to use a whole can of that. Black beans. I'm going to rinse those and then weigh them out. Um, so we'll see how much we're using of those, but probably the whole can. Going to mix it in with the beef. Probably a cup of cheese on top. And then I only have seven of these thin corn tortillas. So I already entered everything with 200 grams of black beans. So I need to double check how many that's actually going to be, but, um, might have to adjust that. But as is with the ground Turkey, the enchilada is going to be four servings for 434 calories and about 35 grams of protein. So I'll give you the exact amounts once the meal is done, but that's what we're looking like. And pretty much all I'm going to do is cook up the ground Turkey with the taco seasoning and the black beans, and then layer the enchilada situation in a pan and we're gonna bake it so simple all right y'all so i cooked the taco meat or i cooked the ground turkey drained it added the taco seasoning with a little bit of water and then just weighed my black beans which is 275 grams so i'm just gonna mix this up and then we're gonna layer up the casserole all right y'all so we're going to start the enchilada i'm gonna do sauce or the yeah i guess enchilada casserole i'm gonna do sauce on the bottom hutchie's saying hello no, stay down. I'm cooking. And I'm going to start with the corn tortillas. And I'm using a fairly small dish. This is probably like a 6 by 12 or something. I honestly don't know. 6 by 9, something like that. But it's small. So you can see like it's like two of my palms. So I might actually dip them and then flip them. <laughs> Okay, y'all, missed opportunity adding extra veggies. I don't know what I was thinking during the grocery haul. Like, didn't grab anything fresh, didn't stock up on like frozen spinach or frozen peppers or anything. So that's definitely added to my grocery list for next week just so I can have those things on hand to throw in easy dinners like this and sneak in extra veggies extra nutrients, extra fiber, all of those good things. So definitely if you make this, I would bulk it up with some veggies. I feel like shredded zucchini would be great in here, along with, of course, onions and peppers. So let me know what you would put in this. Maybe even like diced sweet potato. I don't know. I feel like that could be a good combo. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Same, like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again. All right, y'all, the little... Enchilada casserole just came out of the oven. It looks so good. 
Um, it cooked for about 25 minutes. I did 10 covered and, um, no wait, 15 covered and 10 uncovered, uh, just until I felt like the tortillas looked kind of cooked and the, um, the cheese was fully melted. So this is what we're working with. I'm just gonna let it cool. I don't know why I have it at this awkward angle. I'm just gonna let it cool and then we'll cut into it. But this is literally four servings and like, look how huge the serving's gonna be. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl, add some toppings. I can't wait. Okay, y'all, I just tried it. This is literally one fourth. Look how full my bowl is. This is one fourth of it. Um, amazing. I will say that gelato sauce that I used, I've had it. I can't remember if it's from Walmart or H-E-B now because I already threw it away, but it is spicy. So if you don't like spice, I recommend getting a mild enchilada sauce just to play it safe. Um, I love it. I'm super excited to eat it. I'm going to add, I think a little bit of green salsa. Honestly, I would normally just add sour cream, but we don't have any. And I just want like something cold and fresh to go with it. But 10 out of 10, this recipe is so good. This would also be a really good one to sneak in vegetables, spinach. My alarm went off. Um, you can really sneak in vegetables here, spinach, zucchini, um, bell pepper, anything like that would be perfect in here. Truly, we don't have any. So I need to get stock up on some of that stuff. But this is so good. Let me know if you try it. All right, y'all, here is the finished dinner. We did add a little bit of the Tony's um, like Cajun style gravy, but lots of green beans. I did about 120 grams of the meatballs, which is nine. Um, about a third of the mashed potatoes and some gravy. We're ready to eat. All right, y'all, I am on, or I'm at my mom's house. My dad's out of town, so me and her are having dinner. I cooked up some ground turkey with some taco seasoning, and then I um, rinsed some black beans and put those in there as well. And I cut up these peppers for nachos, air fried them at about 370. Um, for about eight minutes. I like mine really cooked, so you can do it less obviously, or just do them raw if you want them really crunchy, but these are gonna be delicious. So let me show you the assembly. Again, like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. All right, y'all, just put the meat on there, topped it with some cheese, and then baked it for like, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, just until the cheese was melty, and we're gonna top it with sour cream and salsa. Okay, apparently I didn't get a final video, but this is how it turned out. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Highly recommend air frying bell peppers, whether you're doing it for nachos or for like a burrito bowl. The something happens in that air fryer you guys and it's unmatched they are delicious definitely try that and let me know if you do strangers again i thought we'd never fall could have tried much harder all we had was scars you said we'd get so high higher up than hell